This Mad Max Gaming here, and today is the Tales and Trails update, which I'm pretty excited about. I've been waiting for it for a while now, and I just think everything that's coming out with it is super adorable. I know a lot of people are kind of like, eh, this upgrade's not that great, blur, 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 blur. But, I mean, I'm pretty excited about it because I think a lot of the stuff is adorable. I think it's great stuff to add to survival. And it's a really great addition for people that play creative more, such as myself. So, I'm pretty excited about it. And, yeah, I am starting a new Mad Vaxatopia. We've just completely restarted. We didn't really do anything any really good. And it seems as though I'm not very good at being able to beat Minecraft on my own. I work better as a team when I'm playing with friends. So I thought instead of trying to beat the whole game and do things that I know I'm not as good at, why not just make the cutest house I know I can do and just collect every single animal mob possible, any good mob, and just have a huge farm zoo kind of cute happy house and started on the new update where we can find even more animals and new mobs so I thought that we would do that instead and I'm pretty excited about it um you know that also includes getting an iron golem snow golem alley all that but the biggest challenge of all is I don't want to build my house in just any mob I'm going to build my house in the new cherry blossom biome so our first step is to go looking for the cherry blossom biome and on the way if we happen to find a sniffer or if we happen to find a desert and maybe a camel we'll bring those along with us so we're on survival we're playing on normal there's no um you know extra things added no cheats nothing like that we're just playing on regular old playstation 4 um so yeah let's get this started so it looks like we spawned in a flower biome which you guys know is normally one of my favorite places to be and to live but unfortunately this isn't what we need right now but it is good to know that we have this uh, one thing I just noticed is I have my hands turned off so let me fix that quick alright perfect I had it turned off because I usually turn it off when I build something and I'm like videotaping it or when I'm making one of my shorts great baby sheep we will need to find some kind of food and stuff too because of course we're going to get hungry we're going to get hurt uh, we're going to have to make our base as strong as possible and on top of the mobs one of the things I always like to do is to make sure I have every kind of flower and every kind of food so I want to make a really big garden as well which is a lot of things that I just really love in real life I love gardens, I love flowers, I love animals those are some of the biggest uh, things that I'm really passionate about in real life and those are my favorite things in Minecraft itself so I think we're gonna start with that uh, as soon as it gets dark though we're gonna have to put ourselves in a hole and unfortunately we're gonna have to kill some sheep so I can make myself a bed um, which I'm gonna feel bad about because I don't really want to kill animals unless I have to but unfortunately I'm, I'm gonna probably have to make a meat farm and such uh, you know it's it, it how it do be like that unfortunately but I'm definitely going to bring these pumpkins with me because this will be the great start to my garden. And I'm going to chop down this tree just so I can make some tools. Perfect. Okay. So, go in here. I'm going to make some planks here. Make a crafting table. Oh, I picked up a, a tree sapling. That's another thing, too. I want to make sure I collect every sapling from a tree. I just saw a doggy, but I don't have any bones, unfortunately. Alright, so we got some supplies, so I'll be able to make tools then. And one thing I do want to do is put on coordinates. I always put on coordinates. Maybe somebody can, considers that cheating, but you know what? It is what it is. It's just me walking around with a compass, you know? Okay, so we don't have any cheats on, but we're going to put the coordinates on. 
I'm gonna grab some roses just in case wherever I end up I might not be able to find roses right away. But hopefully the cherry blossom biome won't be too far from where we are because it'll be great to be able to come back here and grab all the flowers we need because this is literally a flower biome so it's perfect. So it's at negative 60 positive 200 something. That's where I am right now, so it's around that area-ish, which will give me a a good idea of what to look for when I want to find a flower biome again. I don't know what's the usual, like, you know, this spawns here, that spawns there type deal. Let me grab some of these. Um, when it comes to the new stuff, I haven't looked anything up yet on, like, the best way to find a cherry blossom biome, the best way to find a sniffer. I don't know any of that yet. I'm just kind of winging it right now and seeing if I can do it myself. I restarted this map so that way anything new would spawn in and we wouldn't have to travel far. And like I said, I wasn't that far anyway, and I had that crappy house. I know I spent all that time on the copper roof, but I really don't care. I might do a copper roof again, but I have a whole new different theme I want to do for this house, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I am going to have to kill these sheep. I'm so sorry. Please don't fall down this hole. I'm begging. Okay, well, it missed the water. That's, that's unfortunate. Can you just die? Thank you. Oh, there's another sheep over there. If I get black, can I, like, mix and match colors to make a bed? I don't remember. I feel like for some reason I can't, but... Look, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna try it and see what happens, but... I'm not sure. Hello. Well, there's a mountain over there. We could definitely get goats at some point, so that's good to remember as well. Uh... Okay, so... Let's put this down here quick. Can I make a bed? No, I can't, because they're all mad that the colors don't match. Okay. I mean, I'm playing on normal, so it shouldn't be horrible. So I'm going to walk around for now and hope that while I'm walking around, I find one more sheep and see what happens. There's one skeleton and a creeper. And my audio is severely glitching. I don't know if you can hear that in the recording, but the Minecraft song is just, like, stuck on the same note over and over again, like a broken record, which is really weird. Yeah, the mobs aren't being too terrible. I've played a lot on hard, because most of my friends like to play on hard. But now... I uh, have to remember it's not going to be this horrible to play at night. But I guess it's good that I'm used to being in total chaos at night, so then this won't seem so difficult, right? That's how that works, right? I've been prepared for full chaos. I see more pumpkins, but I'm not going to go for those. I'm not seeing any sheep, unfortunately. And I'm getting really hungry, so I'm gonna have to probably eat this raw meat. Because that's all I have right now. Okay, I can't tell from here if this is sand or snow. If it's sand, then it's a good possibility. Maybe it'll lead into a desert, which means we can find the first thing on our checklist. So that's pretty exciting. Another thing I definitely want to do, and uh, I saw with the update that there's a new set of trophies. And you know how I like to collect all the trophies. Uh, there's only three of them, so that's not terrible. And they don't seem that difficult, but one of them is to be able to make... Um, make... Uh, game just completely froze for a second. Make every color, I think, like armor that you... Scary sound that you can do and I definitely want to do that I want to make sure I get every single kind of armor so I can get every trophy all right so that's a snow biome and an ice biome 
Which is good to know for future reference when I want a polar bear. Oh god, the creeper came in the water. Oh god, the creeper came in the water. Um, but that's not doing me any good right now. I was hoping it was sand, and unfortunately it is not. It might not be a bad idea to make a boat and start sailing because I'm going to try to walk more this direction because I feel like if there is a cherry blossom biome it would probably be with like oak biomes and stuff and mix in with that so I don't think going to the ice would be very smart plus it also seems like we're on a colder side of the map then which means maybe I should actually turn around and head more north because now it seems like we're actually heading into the colder biomes, so I might want to change direction. Because chances are, the cherry blossom is not going to spawn in a colder biome. It's going to be probably close to the warm. Not necessarily the fully hot, like acacia or the desert, but I feel like it's going to be somewhere on the in-betweens. And not where I am now unfortunately so I'm gonna go in this direction instead of going the other way since that seems to be leading me more into the chilly zone hopefully while we're on our way walking around we can find a village and then I can maybe take a bed and take some food because I'm kind of starving right now and that's not good Alright, the good news is, is I'm pretty sure that's a village over there. So that is at least a start, and we will take it, because I'm ooh, getting hungry. A creeper kind of blew up near me. Luckily it didn't kill me, but it blew up near me. So I'm not thriving at the moment. Unfortunately, I don't have any tools, because I see some coal, and that would be good to have as well. Alright, so it looks like we are in like a trip rock area. So that's pretty cool. I'm seeing like some of the stalagmites and uh, whatever the other one is. I forget which one grows up and which one goes down, but I'm seeing some of the pointy rocks, if you will. Okay, so this village I found is in a spruce biome. So we found another biome, but it is not what we're looking for unfortunately and it's almost sun up so we don't really have to sleep that long oh my goodness okay I'll take this 110 percent that'll be a great way to get me started oops wrong button all right Take this, I'll take this, and I'll take this. So we have almost full iron armor, and we've done literally nothing. And we have a saddle, so that's great. Ow. Excuse me, sir. I need to sleep. I can't. Okay. Um, I'm also gonna take this bed. Bye. Alright, everything's gonna start dying. Alright, I found some berries, so I can eat that. And I also have some rotten flesh if I want to go down that route. Hello, sir. Uh, take a take a nap. Ooh, okay. This village is awesome, and I'll, I'll also take these saplings so we can start collecting tree saplings. I'm going to mark my spawning point there since I'm not going to have my bed placed for quite a bit. All right, so we have some much better food than just berries. As much as I love berries, they really aren't the best sustenance to keep your health up. And right now, that's what we... Hello! Right now, that's what we need. What do you want? You'll buy pork. I don't even have pork, so... Huh? Yeah, this is a nice village. Hopefully, when we find our biome, that'll be near a nice village, too. Okay, let's keep going. And we found some mushrooms, so I'm definitely going to grab some of these. Because that'll just be cute to have for the garden. 
Ah, so we found one of these. So this is one of those oak trees that actually has the flower. So it's actually like what an azalea turns into if you add uh, bone meal to it. So we found one of those. I feel like that's a good sign. Like, I feel like we're in the right direction. There's also foxes here, so it would be really, really great if the cherry blossom biome is nearby so we can take a walk over here and get foxes easily. So that'll be really nice. This is also a great area to get dogs, so it would be great to be able to come back here easily and get stuff. But we'll see. I should not have made that jump. Alright, we've come to another birch and oak biome. This is not the one we spawned in. It is different. But it's still not what we're looking for. Eh. Okay, so this still is spruce over here then, and then it leads into oak over here. So I'm thinking maybe we'll go in this direction. Maybe. But then I'm going to end up backtracking a lot. But I might have to go back more where we started. Because it seems like it's warmer over there. One thing that I didn't think would be that difficult, but it was, was finding a quote-unquote meadow. Because one of my trophies was putting a uh, record player in a meadow. And I didn't think it would be that hard to find. But it's actually like has specific flowers, specific color grass. Like it's not just like any old flat land where there's some flowers growing. And I did not realize that it had to be so technical. Alright. I don't think walking is going to work out for us much longer. So we're going to build a boat. Oh no, it's raining. I don't want to build an iron shuffle. Definitely. Oh, I will build a shield though. That'll be great. And we'll build a boat. Alright, cool. If I could hit the right button, that would be great. I hear a drown. Alright guys, update. We're definitely getting warmer and temperature wise because I found a swamp and I am definitely going to stop quickly and pick up some orchids because I know this is the only place that grows orchids. So let's grab some of these. And we can get lily pads. Which is also great. Unfortunately, I don't have any slime. Or I could actually get some frogs. But I don't have any slime on me. Otherwise, I would totally bring some tadpoles with me. Pick up some lily pads here. And I can probably get a frog into my boat. But he's not going to stay in it then once I... Get out. I don't have a lead or anything. Alright, so... Fun fact, it's a good thing I did my research. I was actually on the right path the first time that cherry blossom biomes actually spawn closer to mountain biomes. So, we have to do a little bit of backtracking. Which is unfortunate. Alright, the good news is, guys, we actually aren't that far away from the snow. It is good to remember that the swamp is here, though, because I haven't had a chance to fully explore it, but there could be a witch's helm in here, which would be really cool. And I also 
need frogs at some point. And it's great that there's frogs right next to a snowy biome because I could easily take some tadpoles and hash them in the snow and make green frogs. Because different frogs come in different temperatures. The, like, gray colored frogs, if you want to call it that, the, like, see foamy greeny gray color frogs uh spawn in the hot biomes like acacia and things like that the desert you can even get them to grow in the nether that's actually one of the faster ways to do it um so that's how you can get the grayish color frogs which are personally my favorite color frog i think they're really cute they also spawn in the mangrove ones as well and then to make the green ones you spawn them in a cold biome like the snow and then the orange ones spawn in just regular temperature. I'm seeing another village, which is great. And it looks like it has a garden to harvest. So that is awesome. So yeah, so far we haven't found what we're looking for, but we did find just so far. This is just a really nice map. It's just, we haven't found exactly what we're looking for, but if I would have actually just straight up spawned into a cherry blossom biome that would have taken the fun out of the adventure and who wants that not me i think all right definitely gonna take all your carrots sorry in advance sir but you can plant them again i don't need all your pumpkins because i can make plenty of pumpkins myself now hello I'll help you harvest these. There you go. Alright, great. Now we got some of those seeds. Which those seeds aren't that hard to find, but... Okay. Once again, I'm gonna mark my spawn. I know myself all too well. And I know that I should have a spawn. At all times. Ooh! Emeralds and some bread. And I already have some spruce saplings, so I'm good there. Hello. Oh, wait. I have some bones. I only have two, though. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Rip. It's not enough. Oh, well. I should have saved them. Did I go in every house? Is this really that tiny? Oh, no. There's some over there. Okay, cool. Ow. There's nothing in there. Get some potatoes, and there's a large fern. I hear some cats, but I don't have fish yet, and I don't even have a home yet to start collecting cats. Oh, I heard a kitten! I have a decent amount of ore already, and I haven't even mined yet. We love to see it. We love to see it. The hardest part, I think, is going to try to be... Or going to try to get every kind of rabbit. That sounds treacherous. Oh my gosh, look at free tools. I've never attempted to get every color rabbit. I've had pet rabbits, but I've never attempted to get every color. That kind of sounds awful. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, I am seeing mountains over there. I feel like that is an awesome sign. And we're going to head this way. Okay, guys. So, this is a little bizarre. I found a floating igloo. I was excited that maybe it was going to be one of those igloos with a surprise inside. But it appears not. It's just a fake one. It is not one of those fancy ones, unfortunately. But, save us the time of building a furnace, and I'll take that. So yeah, what it exactly said was, it's near snowy biomes, but it can be like up on a hill, like up on a, like a little mountain itself. So going that direction, I feel like could be kind of a waste of time. Because it's like deep, deep ice. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's the best call here. But this is the swamp again. So maybe we do need to trek through the ice a bit. 
So I found another village, guys, while I was looking around, and look at the top of this house. I've never seen a village have a roof like that before. And I just thought it was really cute, and I wanted to show you. Alright, you guys, we have not found the cherry blossom biome yet, but we did find a tower, and I think I'm pretty prepared that I am going to raid it. Alright, unfortunately, I don't have a bow and arrow, so I can't snipe like I usually do. Gotcha. Alright, well, that wasn't so bad. Wasn't really that great of loot, but... We got some... Level out of it. Um, is there no, like, little... Oh, wait, what's this? Yeah, there's a little house here, but I can't tell what's actually in it. That's weird. Nothing, I guess. Hmm. 
So, unfortunately, there's no cages, because I was hoping for maybe some alleys, but doesn't look like there's that either. So, yeah, that was kind of a bust. Alright, just to give you guys an update, I have been walking for quite a while, checking every mountaintop that is nearby right now. I mean, we are in the perfect explained spot where one of these guys will spawn, but the problem is it is a rarer biome, so it's just really tricky to find, but I'm gonna keep looking. I am definitely in the area where it should be, but it might be the fact that I'm just gonna have to find another area similar, so I'm gonna keep searching. I did find some nether portals and was able to get some stuff out of there. I got my golden helmet. Um, yeah, and I got a bell. It was pretty cool. I still have the curse because I did that raid, so unfortunately I can't go to any of the other villages I've been seeing. Uh, I could make a bucket, but I just haven't gotten to it. Actually, it looks like I can raid again, so maybe I will do that. But yeah, there's your update, guys. I will keep you posted as I keep on keeping on. Here we go. I hear him. Alright, basically just let them kill themselves. I got a horn! Well, that's exciting. Um, maybe I'll just get rid of these. Just get rid of this. Take this weep dub, too, because it's pretty cool. Alright. Definitely can't go to a village right now, unfortunately. <laughs> That's cute. I like it. <laughs> Hello, Biggie. And I'm definitely going to take these. Because that's good to have. Excuse me. So, another thing we're going to have to start looking out for, and I will eventually have to craft, is suspicious sand, because we can start collecting pieces to make pottery. I've seen online what it's going to look like, I just haven't seen it in person yet. But I guess we're going to have to start checking sand to see if we can find any artifacts, so that's going to be something cool we can do as well. <gasps> Baby turtle! Alright, we found another flower biome, but not the flower biome we are looking for. Instead, we found a poppy and dandelion field, and I think this is technically considered a meadow, judging by... 
Oh my gosh, guys, we did it! It's over here, we did it! <gasps> we found it! Oh my god! They said that they spawn just like meadows, and I was just about to say we found a meadow so we could probably find it. We found it! Oh my goodness! What am I looking at? Oh, <laughs> two sheep stuck together. Oh my gosh, guys, we did it! This is gonna be perfect to live here! This is perfect, and there's a village with a church right across the mountain. I just haven't been in it yet because I'm still cursed. Look! We did it! We found the cherry blossom biome! Oh my goodness, look! Oh, it's beautiful! Oh, I love it! The wood is so cute already! It's like a purpley color! Oh my goodness! This is adorable! I love the grass! I need to get some shears so I can shear all the stuff! Because, like... Uh, oh! Oh, this, oh my gosh! So you can pick up cherry blossoms! Okay! Oh my goodness! So pink petals! Which look like they make dye. So what, do I just place this? <gasps> so then I can plant it! Oh my gosh! Hold on. Get this bone out of here. Oh my goodness! So then I can plant them on the ground wherever I want! <gasps> that is so precious! Oh, I love this! And we're right next to bees, which is perfect, because bees are some of my favorite mods in here. Like... Uh, or mobs, not mods. Mob in here, because, I don't know. I know they don't really do much, but I just find them so precious. I mean, you guys know I have, like, a giant plushy bee, because I just, I'm obsessed with them. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. So, if I shear these, and I use them, like, say, as a roof or something, like, will that actually snow pink, like, around it then? I'm just curious. This is adorable. I I absolutely love this. This is where we're gonna live, guys. This is this is it right here. This will be perfect. I wish this vine was a little bit bigger, but it seems like they are just like this little tiny gem. But the the good news is is we can get some saplings, we can get some bone meal, and we can make a bunch. But yeah, so the first thing Finding a cherry blossom biome has been checked off the list. I love it. I absolutely love it. It is precious. I honestly can't get over how cute it is. I, I was thinking it was going to be somewhere warm. I didn't even think of the fact that it was like ne how it would be next to mountains. Like Himalayan mountain type deal. Like I didn't even think of that. Like I was thinking oh flowers warm. Like I totally didn't actually think about like where cherry blossom trees actually are and stuff in real life. I was just thinking of like oh flowers warm whatever. Like oh so freaking cute. I love it. Hands down, new favorite biome. My favorite biomes usually are terracotta biomes. I I think that they're so majestic. I don't. I think there's a more technical name for them, but I call them terracotta biomes. But I mean, wow, you guys, look at that. It's just perfect. All right, you guys. I think I'm going to leave this episode here, and when I come back, we can start making a base. But First thing on our list, find a cherry blossom biome, check it off. The next things on our list are to find some suspicious sand and start collecting all the pottery. We also want to make sure we find a camel, so we're going to have to start going over to a warmer biome. And to find a sniffer, I did here, we have to go um, and find an underwater um, temple and find eggs in there and I believe there's another place that you can possibly find eggs as well but it said warm water temples for some reason specifically the warm water temples so those are the big three on our list and of course making every color armor but that should be relatively easy and we're also gonna have to go to the warmer side to then find bamboo 
but finding the cherry blossom biome was the first thing we needed to do so we could start the base and we've accomplished it and so far I think it's absolutely adorable and I need to kill this guy <laughs> all right Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the likes, comments, subscriptions, support. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time it is. I hope it's freaking fantastic. And if it's your birthday, happy freaking birthday. And I'm going to sign off with the goat horn. Oh, jeez, I just got shot. There you go.